Hey, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So earlier this morning, I discovered this super, super interesting post on the Dokkan subreddit by Reddit user Kamino Segi, I think that's how you pronounce it. I apologize if I butchered it, but all the credit for the information used in this video does go to this user. And the basic premise or basic idea behind the post is that through a series of tests, they were able to discover some brand new information regarding the inner workings of active skills and more specifically, the super attack style active skills of units like LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, LR Gohan and Goten, and so on and so forth, as far as how they interact with a unit's hidden potential additional attacks. Now, I know that might sound super confusing right now, and I understand, but I promise, the more I talk about it, the more this will make sense. So without further ado guys, let's dive into this post and see what it has to offer. Starting from the very top with this introduction, it says, A few months ago, I made two posts. One showed how built-in additional attacks interact with the dupe system one, and the other showed how counters interact with dupe system additional attack. This time, I wanted to see if units like LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku will also have an increased additional attack chance similar to the other two cases, or will he only have a 10% chance at free dupe, which would be level 5 additional, and 22% chance at rainbow, assuming you gave him 11 additional attacks. So this was the hypothesis or the theory going in, and the way that it was tested was this. So he took a Goku's family team consisting of LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku who had one dupe and a friend lead with a similar build to the legendary Goku event and essentially recorded each time that one of the LR Super Saiyan 4 Gokus would perform an additional attack on the turn that his active skill was used and these were the results guys. So first things first as far as sample size goes, they did around 100 runs which is a lot of runs, that's a pretty solid uh, sample size to be comfortable with the results and have a decent sample size. The results are as followed. So in theory, if the active skills did not affect the LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku's ability to perform additionals at all, then on average they should always have a 16% chance to perform an additional since uh, they said they brought one dupe LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku's, right? And in that case, they most likely have level 8 additional and the way that additionals and crits work is the chance to perform one is double the level in the hidden potential system so with a level 8 additional it should be 16% chance to perform an additional attack at all times right but instead as it turns out in the 100 runs that was performed or that were performed on the turns that LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku's active skill was used he had a 29 0.88% chance of performing a additional attack, which obviously is a huge, huge increase from the theoretical 16% chance that's provided by the hidden potential system. And it can't be explained away by just mere coincidence since 100 runs were performed to get this data. And uh, what this shows essentially is, you know what, I'll just read this, I'll just read this. As you can see, the results show very clearly that active skills do indeed proc additional attack as well, meaning people who have, or units who have a super attack sort of active skill like LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku will have an increased additional attack chance for that turn, which will make him stronger than originally thought. In Goku's case, a rainbowed LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku with 15 crit and 11 additional will have an increase of around 631,000 to his attack per turn, which is a very decent boost. And also for LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta with a build, build of 20 crit and 6 additional, this will give him an increase of 520,000 attack per turn on the turn. His active skill is activated. And uh, that's it guys, that's the new info I was talking about. I thought it was super, super interesting. And for a little conclusion here, it says, so like, additional, so like passive additional attacks and counter active skills, uh, will also increase the chance to proc your dupe system additional attack. Said additional attack will have a 50% chance of being a normal attack and 50% chance of being a super attack. It means that all units with a super attack act active skill will have a higher additional attack chance if they can fulfill the requirements to proc said active. And I'm not sure like 
how clear that was, but I'm going to try to explain it one more time. Essentially, for units that have super attack active skills, on the turn that you use their active skill, they will have an increased, a significantly actually increased chance of also performing an additional attack because of the active skill. And essentially, this just makes units that have these super attack style active skills like the Intel LR Cell or the LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, much, much stronger on the turn that their active skill is used. And the funny thing about this is I don't think this is how Bandai intended for active skills and additional attacks to interact with each other. Same thing with the counters and additional attacks and built-in additional attacks and hidden potential additional attacks. So in the future, all this stuff might be patched out, but for the moment, as the data shows, this is how things work, and this is definitely something I didn't know about, so uh, I want to share it with you guys, and hopefully you guys found it as interesting as I did. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you once again to Reddit user Kamino Segi. Once again, not sure about the pronunciation, but thank you for this post. Thank you for all the work you put in to collect the data. And uh, that's it, guys. As always, if you liked today's video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.